Revived Forest of Life, Area de Conservación Guanacaste. In Guanacaste in Costa Rica, in Central America, you can find both tropical wet and tropical dry forests. This is the tropical dry forest. It provides the best dry forest habitats from Central America to northern Mexico. As humid air from the Caribbean hits the high mountain range of central Costa Rica, rain clouds are formed. This leaves only dry air moving across the mountain. That's why the forest is humid on the Caribbean side and dry on the Pacific side. One of the residents of this richly biodiverse area is the armadillo. Among their neighbours are the mantled howler monkey. Even though it's a dry forest, it becomes green during the summer. But when the winter comes, dry winds from the north blow most of the leaves off of the trees. More than two decades have passed since a conservation and forest reclamation project began here. The forest became greener and numerous animal species have since returned. Agoutis store surplus nuts by burying them underground. Forgotten nuts sprout later and new trees grow. This is a white-nosed coati. They like eating bugs but also feed on nuts and berries. The diverse natural environment of Guanacaste with its wet forest, dry forest and high mountains sustains a wide variety of animal species. Nuts and seeds contained in coati droppings take root in the ground and they produce new trees, so even animals help the forest to grow. The thorns on this bullhorn acacia tree explain its name. The horns are so big that they're used by ants to house their nest. The acacia houses the ants and the ants protect the tree in return. They do this by chasing off leaf-eating caterpillars. The revival of this precious tropical forest is due to efforts by both humans and animals. Today, the forest continues to expand.